Hey loves! Today I'm going to show you how to sand and stain an entertainment center and this is what it looked like before we got started. So at the moment this is what my living room looks like. I have everything that I need to be covered covered. My floor, um, it has sheets. Uh, this is my practice piece of wood and um, you want to remove any like hardware and if it has drawers remove those and um, I tried to remove the doors to this but then they the screws started stripping so whoever originally assembled this put them in really really tight and when I started to take them out they started to strip and I didn't want to risk losing the screws because I don't know if they're like one of a kind or they just kind of fit this um, entertainment center so that's kind of what I'm left with I have to keep the doors on and it's gonna make the process even harder unfortunately but what made the project easier was a orbital hand sander and I'm just I'm ready to go let's go so I'm taking a pencil and I'm drawing a line a few lines actually on the wood I'm doing this because I'm using a power tool and it has the ability to remove a whole lot of uh, layers all at once and I really want to be careful so once the pencil mark is gone then I know I can change the grit of sandpaper now using an orbital hand sander is really easy you just want to go with the grain of the wood you don't want to go too fast or too slow or hover over one area at once because you will create a dent in the wood you just want to keep a nice steady motion with um, gentle pressure and you'll be just fine so to get into the grooves of the entertainment center I used this flexible foam back sandpaper and I just went with the grain of the wood it made things a lot easier I was so happy that I had that and I use 80 grit 120 grit and 220 grit of sandpaper and this is what everything looked like stripped of all of its varnish I thought I'd come on camera and show you guys where we're at uh, with the progress of the entertainment center and the bookcase. So uh, here we go. <laughs> We've actually had a pause in our process. Um, I'm actually doing like 95% of the work if you can believe it. But um, it's actually done sanding. I used 80 grit, then I used um, 120 grit, and then I went on top of that with 220 grit. And that's basically so that I can get a nice clean surface. Um, the 80 grit I started to kind of just take everything off, and then the other ones are more refining. Um, grits of sandpaper and as you guys can see what I'm working with is more of like an oak wood or something so the grain is really hard um, I know a lot of you guys are like I don't get what you're saying but I'm linking some videos down below so you guys can get a better idea of what I'm doing but basically what I'm going to be staining is the top basically the whole exterior of it and then the inside um, doors here but I'm actually going to leave all of this the way that it is as well as um in here which you guys will be able to see um this is uh, all of the sheets and stuff that was like covering the floor of this place was a mess and because we had to take a pause i actually didn't have the wood conditioner that we need um to start the project wood conditioner is kind of like a primer to help the wood stain um kind of absorb into the wood evenly they didn't have any and we're going with minwax brand so we're taking a pause and I cannot live in a wood shop I just cannot it's been like that this took me um exactly a week to do and uh, like exactly like seven maybe even eight days to do um so it's a really long process but I'm keeping my eyes on the prize this is the entertainment center that I was talking about you see how the grains are really um, I don't know the thing that I don't like is that the grain here is so much darker than the grain on this it's like they use another panel I'm not a fan of that but you know we'll see how the wood absorbs so I I'm a little bit nervous about that so I went shopping for wood stains there were so many and so many colors and it was it's pretty awesome but this is what I got royal walnut and this is my entertainment center this is the practice wood and first you want to begin by wiping off any excess dust from sanding because you don't want that to be inside your wood uh, and gloves okay so pre-stain wood conditioner from Midwax this is what I'm using It's gonna help the stain absorb evenly and I was actually surprised by how watery it looked it's pretty cool looking so I'm taking my brush and I'm literally just brushing that on as if I was painting it 
So I decided to do a little experiment. I'm gonna pre-stain one side and I'm gonna wipe that excess off and leave the other side un wood conditioned, I guess. So this is the Royal Walnut Poly Shades color and you really want to mix it up. I'm taking my paintbrush. You don't want to take this much, people. It will drip as you will see in the beginning. It's horrible and I'm so glad that I had the uh, practice piece of wood. But I'm just going with the grain and basically just seeing if I need the wood conditioner. And on the other side, I'm not going to apply the wood conditioner just to see if, if it's, I don't know, if it has an effect on it I guess and surely it did you can see the difference one side is evenly coated and the other is really streaky so uh, this is what I'm doing to prepare my living room garbage bags on the couch on the floor all over the floor and then I cover it with sheets all right entertainment center left side one coat right side no stain and the bookcase, one coat of stain, and then one coat of stain, two coats of stain. I actually love the richness of the color, the more coats I added on. And with this, I'm just literally moving with the grain, like we've been doing this whole process. You just want to move really quickly because this can dry. But I really like this because it has the stain and the varnish all in one. And, oh! When you want to get inside the nooks and the crannies like this, if you have like a weird edge, you just want to make sure you smooth out that edge so that there's no harsh lines. And it was pretty easy and kind of fun. A little time consuming, but I can deal with it. I can I can deal with that. It, w it was worth it. So I'm finally, finally done with this project. And I know you guys can't see it that well, so I'm gonna get the camera and come a little bit closer. My finished masterpiece! It is gorgeous, isn't it? No, I really like the color it came out. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, but I actually really love just the glossy finish. It's a little blotchy in some areas, but hey, I'm a first timer. I think this is pretty darn good, okay? For the first time, come on props can I get some props no <laughs> but um I really love the way the sun hits it and of course I did the top as well so this is what the inside looks like as you can see I stained the inside of the doors right here um, I only did two coats here the rest of it I did three coats and um, on the very inside there I also did not stain and it needs to be wiped out of course because of all the sanding and dust and everything. I also did the inside of the lower cabinet drawers. Please excuse the lighting but um, this is the bookcase that I did and on the inside I literally just put some um, construction paper on. The lighting is really bad. So I couldn't get this to be the deepness of the color I wanted. I mean, I basically just had to go with the wood. It was really light wood, so it was hard to really stain it to that deep color. And I, if I would have used maybe like um, an oil stain where you like rub it in, um, the outcome might have been different. But because it was like a varnish and a stain mixed in one, it may have affected how um, the stain absorbed. I want to thank you guys for watching. There's going to be more to come, and I'm so excited. All right. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm always excited. <laughs> Bye.